Well, women have been seeking younger looking skin, oh, I don't know, since Cleopatra gazed into a mirror some 2,000 years ago. Well, fast forward to the 21st century. Modern science is advancing the quest to stay youthful in ways ancient Egyptians could only dream about. With us today discussing 21st century advances in the cosmetics industry are Drs. Raquel Delgado and Christina Carreño of Lipotech. Hey, welcome to the both of you. Good to see you. Good morning. Good to be here. Glad you guys are here because you are both on the front end of major advances in cosmetic science. What have been the biggest ones that you've been associated with? Well, in terms of ingredients, there are a lot. For instance, advanced uh, botanical extracts or retinol or coenzyme Q10. But in Lipotech, we have been focused in molecular cosmetics, with the, which comprises, for instance, biotechnological marine ingredients and peptides. And one of our peptides, Argyrolin, has been a very successful product in the cosmetic market, so it's been used for millions of women around the world. I want to shake your hand. You've been the one keeping me young all these years with all these advances that have been going on. All right, I want to talk a little about, about in vitro and in vivo clinical testing. They are a large part of your company's scientific methodology. What role did these play, Dr. Carino, in the cosmetic products that women are using and purchasing today? Just to clarify, in vitro studies are the studies that were performed in the lab. Okay. And in vivo studies are the studies performed with human volunteers. Okay, got you. Okay. So at Lipotech, what we are doing, we are uh, demonstrating the efficacy of our active ingredients with in vitro tests that mimic what is happening on, the, on our skin. And then we perform safety studies to ensure that the products are devoid of any kind of adverse effects if you apply products on the skin. And finally, we prove the efficacy uh, in uh, clinical studies that, uh, to, that show that the products are really working and that the, we bring the most innovative ingredients and safe ingredients in the market. No, very important. So, Dr. Delgado, what should a woman uh, who about to make a cosmetic decision look for on those product labels? First of all, I would recommend to buy a cosmetic product by a respected company mm -hmm. because they, uh, their claims are supported by clinical testing. It's important. And also to have a look to the list of ingredients. It's located in general in, at the back of the box. So you will see they are uh, uh, writing them in descending concentration, so as higher, as more product has inside. So for instance, if you want to look for a giraline, the inky name, it will be acetyl hexapeptide 8. So you have to know what to look for. Yeah. This All is right. A key point. Yeah. yeah, very key point to know what to yeah. look for. And here's the thing, though. I have to tell you, consumers like myself, we've been exposed to anti aging advertising claims for years. What ingredients or formulas, in your opinion, show the highest degree of success? Yeah, you were right. We, as a consumers, we have been exposed to amazing products with anti aging claims that. Some cases sound like a miracle, mm -hmm. but consumers are smart. And if the product is not working, they will stop using it. Mm -hmm. And the success of our business, the success of Lipotech, show us that the products are working because the consumers are still buying, uh, buying them. And this is because we have been able to bring to the market products like Orgirolin, this is the peptide that's able to minimize the appearance of expression ringers in a short time. You know, I started using anti-aging products in my 20s. I started with a retinol in my 20s. Is there an optimal age for a woman to begin using anti-aging, anti-wrinkle products, Dr. Delgado? Yeah, I think that you have been clever because you have to Whoa, start in your good, 20s. Good, good. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> and it's uh, mainly because your skin is young in that time and uh, mainly you need moisturization, but you can help to delay the premature aging process because you are sun exposed and the pollution is another key, a key factor here. Mm -hmm. So when you uh, are going to the 30s, the first expression wrinkle appear and products, for instance, that contains argyrolin can help you. And then some products uh, related uh, to avoid the sagginess effect. Dr. Carreño, what are the most relevant things that you've learned from research about lessening the appearance of wrinkles? The most important thing that we have learned is that there are real differences between the skin of young people compared to that of mature skin. And then that we need a specific solutions for each of the ages. At Lipodeo, we have been able to develop a specific product for each of these needs. All right, very good. Dr. Delgado, let's talk a little bit about preventative cosmetics. You know, those are cosmetics that I understand are formulated to help prevent damage from pollutants and free radicals and sun exposure, all these things. Yeah. 
we have developed a kind of product in our platforms of research that uh, can help you by, because we have a potent antioxidant that is called lipochromin and also preventelia that is a quencher for these radicals. What would be some final comment suggestions you could give our women viewers out there? The message we want to leave to the audience is that Lipotech, we are investing a lot of science in developing products, ingredients that really bring a benefit to our skin. So when you apply your products onto your skin, it's not an illusion, it's real science. Love that. This has been a real informative segment. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you'd like to learn more about today's cosmetic topic, please visit Lipotech.com. That's Lipotech.com. Oh, and want to share your thoughts or questions on cosmetics, anti-aging, or even find out what others are saying about staying young? Visit us on Facebook at The Balancing Act or find us on the web at TheBalancingAct.com.